Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, <clears throat> excuse me, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. <clears throat> all right, Libra, let me just take a sip of water. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, so these two first, obviously, for obvious reasons. <clears throat> angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. My goodness, I love how your cards are just falling out. Let me grab those. All right. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Fantastic. Okay. Let me make sure everything's in frame. Uh, all right. Now let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. And also make sure you like, you comment, of course, with the butterfly and subscribe. That's what gets you in the running for a free reading. So let's see here, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Here we have nourish. This is going to be a week where we need to nourish ourselves. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to, to, to make sure that we're growing, expanding, and really becoming what we want. And that is going to be, you know, taking time to really connect with, with us. And that is going to be, it's going to be a hard thing. It actually feels, oh, I don't know why I get like, like this tingly feeling in my arms, like this, like, oh, I don't want to do that. But nourishing ourselves, taking care of ourselves is going to be important. And it almost feels like I have so much to do, right? I can come second. I have so much to do. And spirit's like, no, put yourself first, make sure you're taking care of you, and then move forward to the rest of it all. Our chakra energy, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading, and show me clearly, angels. Here we have visualization. This is the third eye chakra. Making sure that we are visualizing. And visual, visualization isn't just like, oh, I hope for X, Y, Z. But it's seeing it with our mind's eye because it's getting our vibrational energy used to that way of being, that way of life. And we also have to make sure as we're visualizing what we want, that we're not also completely negating ourselves, like completely saying, oh, well, that's just ridiculous. And nobody like me is going to get to there and I just, you know, mess up too much. I'm never going to get to where I want to be or that people like me don't get this. No, don't do that to yourself. It's visualizing what you want and then letting it seep into every pore of your being that you are worthy of the prosperity and success that you are seeing in your mind's eye. 
it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Princess of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is somebody who's very childish, who's going to be very, very bratty. It's just very bratty energy, very childish energy. So just be mindful about it. Whether this person is a water sign, whether they just have a lot of water sign in their chart, just being aware of it is going to be important. It's also going to be hard for us during this time to really connect with our heart's energy, with what we love and what's important to us, like that inner child energy of what's sacred to us. For one reason or another, we're going to be thinking, oh, that's silly. And it's not silly at all. So that's, let's see the tarot. We have the 10 of wands crowning everything. We have the ace of pentacles reverse, the 10 of swords the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Two of Pentacles. We then have the Ace of Wands, oh, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. Wow, we're moving in a great direction for our career. We have the Hangman reversed. We have the Six of Swords, and we have the Five of Swords. Just once again, checking that you can see everything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So what's so interesting here and during this time is that this is going to be a week where you're going to find that a lot of the really heavy burdens that you've been carrying, you're like, why am I even doing this? Like, why am I carrying this energy? The repeat of the number 10 shows rebirth. And this is going to be a time that we are reborn on the physical world in a real tangible way that we're like, well, I can see that. Well, I, I got that. So that's going to be really important for us. We're releasing a lot of, of burdens that we've been carrying for ourselves, that we've been carrying for other people. And we're really going to start standing tall within our energy, tall within what we want. We're also going to look at a lot of the negative words that have impacted us, a lot of the negative, you know, thoughts and ideas that have held us back. And we're really starting to say, mm, no, no, that's not me. And we're finding that we're not the person we were once upon a time. This is going to be a time where we're falling into balance with ourselves, where we're also coming into balance with our worth, what we're being paid and what we're worth and how we're moving forward. You know, we're stopping lowballing ourselves. It doesn't mean that we make ourselves like we start then really highballing ourselves, but we're going to find that nice middle ground for us, that really comfortable space that we are are comfortable with that we are proud of and we're moving forward in prosperity now what's very interesting here is that this is going to be more slow go to see the financial success that we want the money or what we value as much as money and what spirit is saying here is slow it down and see you so here with the ace of pentacles we're taking the gift with the knight of pentacles but both of them are reversed so which means that we don't feel like we're taking this gift we don't feel like we're moving forward as powerfully and as beautifully as we actually are there is going to be a door that closes. Now, this could have been a door that closed before. It might be not getting the promotion we were looking for or applying for a job and, and not getting it. Or there's something like that that was a disappointed disappointment when it came to an increase of financial wealth. But what we're going to see, excuse me, <coughs> is that we're letting go of a lot of the doubt and the fear that we held onto this. So this is probably... This isn't probably, this is not like it had to have happened right now. It could have for some watching, it could have. But for others of us, this happened when we first started looking for a job, when we first started, you know, going out into the world. There was something here where we were undersold or under undervalued or under whatever. And then we just kind of thought that way about ourselves. So being aware of that is going to be super important during this time that we're releasing a lot of negative energy around us and and our prosperity and our success and our ability to be successful, that is going to be something that's absolutely being transformed during this time with the Ace of Wands being taken not only by the Queen of Wands, but by the Page of Wands. You're going to be highly creative during this time. This is also a Leo energy time, right? We're in Leo time frame, And this is strong fire sign energy coming forward. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth sign energy is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Libra, if we're born on the cusp with Virgo, if we have fire sign or earth sign energy in our chart, this comes through very powerfully, but this is also a very practical time for us. We can be impractical, but our passion and our fire is going to bring back the practicality. Now we can try and go a little bit too big during this time, do too much, bite off too much, expect to grow too fast. Scaling things back and looking at ourselves and being fair is going to be really important, meaning being fair with 
our expectations for ourselves, being fair with how we're judging our success, not comparing ourselves up against like the most successful person we can find, but looking at ourselves and being really proud of the energy that we stand in. We are a very different person than we were a year ago, than we were a few months ago, actually five months ago. And so that is going to be a very important thing to see for ourselves. And if we want to see ourselves really change, look back five years ago and see how far you've come, see how much you have succeeded at. This is also going to be a time where you're very attracted to very passionate people. This is going to be not just romantically, but in work situations, in life situations, when the people have passion, when the people have fire, you're going to be very much attracted to that energy. Be mindful because we're also very attracted to get rich quick schemes during this time, which we're going to be like, well, why not try it? If it worked for them, it could work for me. So just be aware of this because we're going to be like, oh, well, I don't need to tell anybody I did this, but just be aware of this during this time. We're seeing things very differently. And yet we're kind of questioning the value of our uniqueness. And we're going to think, oh, I should be more like everybody else. And spirit's like, why? Why are you doing that to yourself, Libra? You do that to yourself all the time. Stop it. Let yourself shine in the power that is you. Your passion in the waking world is coming forward along with your passion of your inner child self with your fire, your tenacity, your, your brilliance, your bravery. And so you're going to see that the past you and the present you are coming together. And you're going to see a lot of your talents from the past coming forward and really exemplifying you in the present. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy, well, spirit energy, which is ephemeral, ephemeral, there we go, I can say words, ephemeral, which is the daylily. It's letting yourself shine. It's connecting with the spirit world. We're very practically oriented during this time. So really we can look at things and be like, well, if it's not completely logical, right? If it's not adding to my wealth and it's not something I'm passionate about, I don't care about it at all. But spirit is saying, embrace the ephemeral, embrace the, the beauty and the imagination of things because that's going to move you far. It moves us then to our chakra energy, which is dreams. This is the third eye chakra. Once again, coming forward, you have a very strong connection with your third eye chakra during this week. Pay attention to your dreams. You're going to be seeing that a lot of what you, you want to achieve and accomplish what you're visualizing, okay, comes from, from snippets of your dreams, like, oh, I could do this and I could do that. So keep a dream journal, write things down, make a, um, a vision board that would be very prosperous for you, a vision board where you can see, you know, the things that you have dreamt of, the things that you, you want, the, the, the things, the aspirational things that you are going after. It brings us then to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is the queen of pentacles. It's not surprising because we have the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles reverse that we can look at things and say, well, if this is going to enhance me financially, then I should just go after it. And here, this is going to be vibrational energy that just isn't right for you. But it's kind of like, you know, Cinderella's stepsisters, you know, I'll cut off my foot to put it in the slipper so I can match marry the prince. But the prince wasn't the right match for me showed shown externally in the fact that this slipper didn't fit. So being aware of this during this time, not trying to mold ourselves into what we think success looks like or what success should look like and letting ourselves simply be ourselves is going to be very important. It moves us then to the nine of pentacles, which is standing in the moment and embracing our prosperity, not looking at the past and being afraid because, you know, we've been through trauma and dramas in the past, not looking at the future and being afraid because it's unknown, but standing in the power of the present of now and owning our wealth, owning our prosperity and being very proud of who we are. All right. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.